Welcome to the Heavy Spoilers Show. I'm your host Definition and this episode we're covering Servant on Apple TV. Servant has been a pretty crazy show. The entire run has been laced with head scratching moments, massive twists and turns and the final episode didn't pull any punches when it came to some big reveals. Chances are you have a hell of a lot of questions and throughout this video we'll be breaking down everything you need to know about the show and its ending. There will be heavy spoilers here so if you haven't had a chance to watch the finale yet and don't want to know what happens then I highly suggest that you turn off now. Without the way I just want to give a huge thank you for clicking this video. Now let's get into our breakdown of Servant. Do you know? You welcomed into your home. Okay, so Servant follows a Philadelphia couple named Sean and Dorothy. Sean is a highly sought after chef, and Dorothy is a well known news reporter. And whilst both look like they've made it on the surface, the pair are actually going through a lot. In the aftermath of losing their son Jericho, Dorothy had a complete breakdown and went into a state of catatonia. In order to pull her out of this, Sean had to resort to using a reborn doll as part of a technique known as transitory object therapy. Dorothy believed that this doll was a real baby and this seemed to work, giving her a new lease on life. They didn't announce the death to anyone except Dorothy's father and brother Julian and thus very few people know the truth. Sean loved his wife so much that he went along with the entire thing and the two hired a living caregiver named Leanne to come and look after the doll. Now where the season started to get complex is that Leanne is well a little bit weird. Initially she seemed to believe that Jericho was real and played into the big fantasy at work with Dorothy. The doll was creepy as hell but one day Sean discovered the impossible. The doll had seemingly turned into a real baby and the season is pretty much centered around what the character should do with this, where the baby comes from and what is really going on with Leanne. It's been an awesome ride and every week has been stranger and stranger. I've I've loved watching the theories over the season with people throwing their wild guesses out there and whether it was the things that played out on screen or the internet community itself, the season definitely made you think. Some theories have been true, some theories have been false but what kept us coming back is that the show wasn't quick at giving any answers. However we do finally know a lot of the ins and outs including one of the biggest mysteries which is how did Jericho die. Initially it was leaked that he was quote unquote cooked and this had people online going wild believing that Sean may have accidentally done it during one of his many chef moments in the show. Though this turned out to be true in some ways, it wasn't as extreme as we all thought and it was revealed that Dorothy actually left Jericho in a car on a hot day and the baby died because of this. Dorothy was pretty much handling all of the parenting herself while Sean was away working on a TV show and the big reveal showcased how exhausting it was being in an unbalanced parent relationship where one person works all the time and the other has to struggle with the day to day. It was kind of heartbreaking seeing this happen and though the big reveal wasn't as gory or as shocking as some fans were initially hoping for, it did fit tonally with the show. However, that doesn't mean that everything was straightforward and the season did tease that something supernatural was going on. Sean began finding splinters and wood in his body, his ability to taste disappeared and Leanne seemed to be at the centre of it. In episode 5 titled The Cricket, we actually saw a member of the titular insect family be killed and resurrected and this sparked up theories that the living baby which was initially thought to be Leanne's was actually Jericho reborn. Now there has been a lot of back and forth on this with some believing that the doll in fact was brought to life by Leanne whilst others believe that it was just a baby that she smuggled in in a suitcase. Both theories were as strange as each other with it seeming very unlikely that Leanne had managed to find a couple who had just lost their child without them even really advertising for it and juxtaposing this her ability to resurrect someone from the dead would make her seem pretty godly. Now we did sort of get answers to this in the finale or at least enough to interpret things our own way. I'll get into this in just a bit as we discuss the ending of the season. As for the show itself, M. Night Shyamalan as always masterfully laces everything with an atmosphere, a creepiness to it and because of this the servant is really easy to get addicted to. Though it has a relatively small cast, servant uses each of its actors expertly and they all bring a lot to the table. 
Sean played by Toby Kebbell is pretty much the eyes of the audience as they go on this ride and Dorothy is the other extreme of that, unable to assess what's really going on and thus you're basically watching a man in an impossible situation trying to save his marriage from a girl that has the potential to bring it all crashing down. Leanne's uncle has also popped up to try and call her home and he made one hell of an entrance. This is not the kind of guy that you want to have around for dinner and he and his wife play a big part in the finale. Episode 10 opens with Sean preparing the placenta for a meal and for the final cooking scene of the season, it definitely felt like a fitting end. It's been in the fridge since Jericho's birth and this, like the episode, shows that everything is going to be laid out here. He serves it up to a group and yep, I'm never ever going to one of these ever, I can promise you that. It turns out that throwing a party for Jericho's baptism, I want to say baptism, in the UK we would call it a christening so yeah let me know if I'm wrong and Dorothy hasn't held back on the invitations and many of her friends and family members come to the house including a child who snuck in and brought a doll with her. The child is taken home later in the episode by her mother, much in the same way that Leanne eventually is and there's sort of a setup here of watching someone go back to the home and taking the doll with them. Dorothy catches up to the child and when talking to her she rebuffs the idea that a doll isn't real and upon calling it Pamela she hits a chord with Dorothy who finally realises that she's been playing with a doll too. Now it's fine that a kid would think the doll is real as they're probably just playing make believe but for Dorothy it has severe repercussions as she realises the reality of the situation. To make matters worse, Leanne's auntie and uncle were spotted at the church and they've snuck into the house. Throughout the season we've seen people wandering around the property and it turns out that all of these people were connected to Leanne and her auntie and uncle. Leanne catches a rant with Jericho and her uncle goes to Sean for the blackmail money but he rejects it saying he wants Leanne back. It turns out Leanne's auntie and uncle were part of an extremist religious cult who raised her after the death of her family. The cult, known as the Church of the Lesser Saints, believe that the rapture is coming and have forced Leanne to live a very sheltered life. Similar to Sean taking in the mysterious resurrected Jericho, they took her in and raised her as their own. We did learn earlier in the season that Leanne had met Dorothy as a child and she became obsessed with her from this point onwards. Leanne fled from the family and they were able to track her to Dorothy and Sean because they knew of her love for the character. In the episode, Leanne's uncle says that she likes to please people she loves and hurt people she doesn't, so because of her feelings for Dorothy, she somehow gave Jericho back to her. The way that I took it is that this love allowed her to turn this doll into a real child and provide Dorothy with the thing that she wanted most in the world. Juxtaposing this, Leanne is capable of hurting people that she doesn't like and we see this reflected in Sean who, throughout the season, has lost his ability to taste. Sean cares about being a chef above all else and the death of Jericho can somewhat be blamed upon his choice of work over his family. So, in the end, Leanne saw removing his senses as a fitting punishment for the character. Sean breaks down to Leanne's uncle and confesses that now what he actually wants more than anything is his son back and this shows growth in the character and a change of his priorities. He accepts that Leanne brought Jericho back to life and realises that if he removes her from the house then his son is going to go with her. Sean says he knows his own child when he holds him and for me this adds more weight to the theory that Leanne was able to return him. Leanne's aunt, Aunt May, shout, shout out Spider-Man forces Leanne to come home, claiming that Leanne is their servant and not Dorothy's. Dorothy recognises Aunt May, but she doesn't remember exactly where from until she reviews footage of a news report that she did in which she reported on the cult. During a police standoff, they were seemingly able to escape and this is likely when Leanne left. The report sends alarm bells ringing and she rushes to Leanne's room to find her gone and in Jericho's room, the doll is back in the crib. Leanne has returned to her family and they creepily wait for her outside. They have a massive embrace in the street, with all of them completely enveloping her. For me, this once more showcases that she was of high importance to them and that her abilities do indeed exist. They disappear, much like their escape from the authorities, and it is possible that they've gone to the rapture. The rapture is a concept within Christianity that states during a specific event that may or may not be the end of the world, that all Christians who are alive will rise into the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. It is possible that the cult members died in the explosion but Leanne was able to resurrect them and their disappearing act could signify this. As for the disappearance of Jericho, well you can pretty much take it one of two ways. If you don't believe that Leanne has supernatural abilities and the group just fled after noticing the police, then it is possible that she merely took the real Jericho with her and left the doll in its place. A group like that would draw suspicion and clearly they did from the policemen who even backed up to see what they were up to, so it is possible that they noticed the squad car and either left or hid. 
They'd have to run faster than Usain Bolt, but it isn't outside the realms of possibility. However, if you lean more in with the supernatural side of things, then Leanne leaving has also taken Jericho's soul with her. Perhaps through religion, she was able to gain these almost Christ-like abilities, and if so, I can see the second season centering around Sean and Dorothy trying to get her back. Sean can now not feel any pain, and thus he will likely be able to push himself to the limit in order to get the child back. Leanne is also clearly torn on her position in the cult, and I don't think it would take much to persuade her to return to Sean and Dorothy, as she clearly found a home that she wanted to be in, and by the end, they wanted her too. It was an incredible way to end the show, and I can't wait to see what happens down the line. Servant was a great season that I think stands strong as one of Apple TV's best entries. It was a bit up and down at times, but overall it kept me coming back to it week after week, wanting to know more. This isn't an easy task, and it's been great going into each episode not knowing what to expect. I feel like we got some satisfying answers for the end of the season, as well as a lot of plot threads that will make people come back for season 2, and yeah, I had a hell of a lot of fun with it. There isn't really anything out there quite like it, and if you were unsure on the show, then I definitely recommend that you check it out. It's unique in both its subject matter and storytelling, and that's why it gets an 8.5 out of 10. Now obviously, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the season and its finale, so comment below and let me know. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up, and make sure you check out our breakdown of the first two episodes of The Outsider, which are going to be linked at the end. We go over everything you need to know about the show, so it's definitely worth checking out if you want to know more. You can support us by subscribing to us on Patreon, and if you want to come chat to us after the video, you can join our Discord server in the description below, or follow us on Twitter at DefinitionYT. I also just want to let you know we're currently giving away a free copy of Doctor Sleep to one random subscriber, and all you have to do to be in with a chance of winning is like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave your thoughts on Servant in the comment section below. The winner is going to be chosen at random on the 15th of February and the set will be shipped out from then to whoever gets the prize, so best of luck to everyone who takes part. This is a channel for people who are never missing television, so if that's the kind of thing you like, you need to subscribe to Definition. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this, you've been the best and I'll see you next time. Take care, peace.